Here's to another beautiful day. O oh Lord, I pray you protect me and my children from all the ills that may befall us. My God, make me generous. Please make myself and my descendants among the giving. How's the food today, Ahmed? Delicious as always. You're working too hard, my friend. Where are your boys today? Aren't they helping you out here? They do their best, and I'm doing everything that I can to help them out. But I can't expect too much, as I'm the parent and they're the children after all, right? <laughs> Well, I think they should be helping you out and not the other way around, my friend. Mehmet is still unemployed. He should be helping you out here. I'll be just fine. God gave me the opportunity to work. I pray that I'll be able to do good until my last breath. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. My boys never let me down, and they've always treated me with so much respect. That's why I love them. I hope <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Dad needs to give control over the restaurant to us now. I already found a buyer. This guy is willing to give good money for the place. The shop next door is still empty too. He's gonna knock the whole thing down to make a mall. Then let's sell it right now. I finally have a decent amount of money in my pockets when we do. Yeah. Who is this guy? Can he be trusted? The guy has a lot of cash. I don't know how he got it, if he laundered it, inherited it, or worked for it. And I really don't care. But how are we going to convince Dad to do this? Mm, we'll think of something. Let's not push him too hard. He's already an old man. We don't want to be the reason. He... I don't care, Ahmet. I don't. We've been miserable for years because of him and his penny pinching. I've had enough. I don't care how much he resists, we're selling the restaurant. Here. This is my offer, gentlemen. The other store, next to yours, is vacant. I shouldn't have a problem cutting a deal with its owner to get that, too. But still, your restaurant's in a critical location. I'll need that place to start building. And I took that into account when I drew up this offer. <laughs> Sorry, but it's too low. <laughs> hey, Eshret. Is it possible for us to add 5% to that offer? Will it be putting us over our budget? No, we'll be fine. I need 15%. 15%? Hmm. I see. We'll take that into consideration. I guess we could make it 12%. Thank you. We'll think about it. Give me till this evening to think it over. We'll get together tonight. I'll be over at a club owned by a friend of mine. My chauffeur can bring you there, okay? Yeah, yeah, you bet. I'll see you tonight then, guys. Good day, sir. Good day. <clears throat> you should have taken the offer. What's wrong with you? What if he doesn't want to buy it now? Will you just please leave it to me? I know what I'm doing. You don't know anything, bro. If you did, you would have made something of yourself by now. Oh yeah? Just look at you! What the heck have you done? You're out there working like a slave, all for some measly hourly wage! Yeah, well at least I have a job. I'm not some lazy bum like you just are, bro. Just shut up! Yeah, well why don't you make me? That was a good offer that got ruined by your stupidity. I see you can stand up to me. Why don't you go and ask for your share from Dad right now? Go ahead! I'm gonna take care of this, you'll see! I'm gonna sell that restaurant! Ah! Here you go. Enjoy.
Good day, sir. Hello there. Please sit down. I'll bring you a plate that you like right away. Come on, come sit over here, sweetheart. Pardon, is this seat taken, gentlemen? This young lady would like to take a seat. No, our friend is on his way. That's okay, she'll probably be done by the time he gets here. She's just going to eat and then leave. This spot is taken, you deaf old man. To share one's table with someone in need brings you more blessings. Don't you know that, my boy? Enough already, old man. Here, have all the seats you want. For God's sake, let's go. If that's what you want to do, gentlemen. I'm sorry, it's just his age. He's just a stupid old man. Go on, ma'am, sit down. Thank you. Dad, are you trying to ruin us here? I just can't understand what you're trying to do. Why don't you take care of your best customers? <laughs> what do you mean, my boy? I always take care of my best customers. I hope what I'm doing won't offend Ibrahim. Do you think people are the ones who provide each other with their daily bread? God is the one who is the provider, and only God knows exactly how much each person will get and for how long they will get it. You see, the Almighty always has reasons behind how much he gives. I suppose he's not going to pay either, right, Dad? <laughs> Their bills are already paid here. Dad, you know, you really... Ah, forget it. Good day, sir. Hi, how can I help you? Are you Ibrahim? Precisely, that would be me. What exactly do you want? I'm Sully Demir. I just bought the store next door. <sighs> I'm making it into a restaurant, so we're going to be neighbors. Ah, uh, congratulations to you. I had a few questions, and I thought maybe you could help me out. You've got to be joking, man. Huh? Trying to come here and take our business away, and then having the nerve to ask for help? No way, man. Don't even bother. We're not going to help you. Hold on, son. The Lord has designated everyone's livelihood. You won't lose your wealth by giving some away. Sometimes you actually lose it all by holding on to it. Yeah, you keep thinking like that, Dad. One day we're going to lose everything because of your stupid generosity. Come on, you guys. Why don't we just go outside? Okay, fine. Look, man, I won't let you open up a restaurant here. If you want to sell something else, that's fine. Sell toys or socks or whatever. But don't try to take our customers away. I'm warning you. You've got me all wrong here. My intention is not to hurt your business at all, sir. We can help each other out. Around here, there's a lot of offices. That's a lot of customers for both of us. <sighs> Who the heck do you think you're fooling? I think you heard how gullible my dad was, so you decided to open up here. Come on now. Oh, please don't say that. I'm warning you one last time. You'll regret it if you open up a restaurant here, and I'm going to make sure what of that. What are you that. planning to do? Wait! <coughs> Mehmet! <coughs> Mehmet! <coughs> Don't even try it, or you'll regret it! <coughs> I'm so sorry, Sully. I will pay for what my son did. It's okay, Ibrahim, really. <coughs> Ibrahim? <coughs> He's having a heart attack. Get <coughs> us some water. Right away. <coughs> Here, sit down. Are you okay, sir? I'm fine. Oh, Lord, please, God, guide both my son to see your divine light. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. We were going to finally have some money. I guess it was meant to be this way. Really, it's okay. What do you mean, okay, Gulai? For years we've been struggling. But he's your brother, Ahmet. You guys shouldn't be doing this, you know it. Your dad has been working for you guys for years. Because of my dad and his stubbornness, I've been working like a dog for pennies. Is that fair? But whatever you made, you made honorably. I'm sorry, but I've had it with this. Look, I don't care about money. I just want one thing, okay? Don't start that again, Gulai. I want to be a mother, is that so wrong? Again with my impotence. You know that's not what I meant. 
There's other ways to have a child we can adopt. I know a lot of people that do that. Let's give it a try. I don't want to take care of someone else's child. You can't do this to me. You can't take my right to be a mother away from me, Ahmed. Or else. Or else what? Or else I'm gonna have to leave you. Hey, Mommy, can you take me to Grandpa's house today? If your dad takes you, you can go. Daddy? Don't even start about going to see your granddad. I can't take you. I just came from the restaurant. You wouldn't believe my dad. He's driving me crazy. Now I have to deal with the place next door. This guy, Sali, bought it. When that place opens up, sales will really go down. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I really have a good mind to put him in a home. After that, we'll run the You're place. You're not kidding. I don't want Grandpa to go anywhere. I love him so much, Mommy. Don't worry, sweetheart. Your grandfather is not going anywhere. Look, if you stop crying, I'll take you to see him now. How about that? I'm really sorry, Sonny. I see they put in a new window, huh? Yes, they sure did. Good done here, sir. Thank you. Here. Oh, please don't, Ibrahim. I'm sorry, I insist. It was my son's fault, so I'm the one who should pay for it. <laughs> Take this, son. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Come on. Good day, guys. You should put a couple of tables out here. You have plenty of room, and people will enjoy the summer air, don't you think? Let me tell you, it gets pretty crowded out here during lunchtime. Get someone to help you, huh? This little restaurant right here has provided for me and my family for 40 years. I wish you the same luck. So, my friend, have you been running this place all by yourself? Uh-huh. I've been running it, but it's not my place. It was entrusted. Entrusted to you? That's correct. It was entrusted to me for 40 years now. Hussein who entrusted it to me. He'll come back someday and reclaim it. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, Salih, look. That boy's my grandson, Barack. What do you want? What is it? Listen to me on that. There's no time for us to fight now. Let's sell this restaurant, and after that, you don't ever have to see me again. But you need to come over tonight. We have to persuade Dad right away. Then we can go our separate ways. I'm gonna go see the buyer later tonight. I'm coming too. You don't have to. You get stressed out, then you stress me out. I'll take care of it. You just come over. We need to convince Dad over dinner. Why didn't your wife come with you, Ahmed? Well, she was a little tired tonight, so she's home resting. But she sent you her regards. Thank you. Give her my regards as well. <clears throat> Ahmed, why don't you tell Dad the truth? What is it, Ahmed? Is there a problem between the two of you? There's not, Dad. She and Ahmed are getting a divorce, Dad. Really? Is what he's saying the truth? Yeah. What for, son? What's the reason? It's because of you, Dad. Because of your stubbornness. Why don't you sign over the restaurant now? Why should I? What does the restaurant have to do with his problems, anyway? It has to do with money, Dad. <laughs> it's money you need, then, huh? Here, go ahead. Take it, son. I was going to split up this month's profits between you guys today anyway. You can pay your bills now. But seriously, you should know my door is always open to you and your wife. I don't mean just you. Your wife needs to talk to me too. You show up alone? Mm-mm. No good. <sighs> That's not really it, Dad. You either need to sell the store... Why? Take as much as you need. <sighs> One thing I can't do is to sell the place or give it to someone else. And why is that? I can't do it until Hussein gets back. 
I can't do it. I can't break that promise. Hussein? This Hussein crap is all we need. I know. I don't know if he's gone senile or if he's just putting on a show with this Hussein stuff so he doesn't have to give us the restaurant. He wouldn't go that far. Yes, he would, Ahmed. In this world, you shouldn't trust anyone but yourself. You got a point there. Is that the car there? Uh-huh. Well, let's go finish this. I'm about to. Aren't you asleep yet, big boy? But I'm not sleepy, Grandpa. All right, fine. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Grandpa, are we poor people? Actually, we're among the fortunate. What makes you say that we're poor? Dad always says we don't have any money. Uh, uh, Barack, listen. We should always be grateful for what we have in the world. Because God loves his people that are grateful. We should show gratitude, and he will provide us with more blessings. So who's the man named Hussein? Oh, Hussein is a man... Brock, do you know what time it is? Go to bed, young man. <laughs> what are you filling the kid's head with, Dad? I wasn't telling him anything bad. Do you really want my son to grow up and be like you? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? You know exactly what I mean by that, Ibrahim. Good evening there, my friend. What the heck are you doing here? Get out of here. This is a pretty rough neighborhood. I don't know what's going on in there, but I'd stay away from it if I were you. You think you can scare me or something? Now beat it. Hello, Mehmet. Hey, man. This way. Haroon's waiting for you. Thank you. Here, have a seat. Well, hello there. Hi, guys. Do you ever play? Poker? Sometimes. <laughs> Attaboy, Mehmet. What do you say? We play a few hands before we sit down to talk, huh? Okay, sure. You're on. I'm in. Me too. Give me one. One card. Pass. I fold. I'll take two. I'll see that. I'm out. Flush. Bravo, congratulations. You won big. All right. Yeah. Please hear my prayer. Lord, please don't deny my children and myself the righteous path. Give me the strength to pass this test in this my time of need. I pray that I will always follow your example. I am grateful to you, O oh Lord, for all you've done for me. <laughs> You're a fighter. The more you lose, the more you keep playing. That's good. Very good. So look. Why don't you sign these IOUs before we continue to play cards? I'm certain that you'll win it back in a few hands.
Police, no one move a muscle! In truth, the bad things that happen to any individual are nothing other than the repercussions of their own misdeeds. But if they are able to learn a lesson from these mistakes, then the Lord has the power to bless those who have repented. Why don't you go to bed, Dad? It's pretty late. Mehmet hasn't come home yet. I'm afraid that something might have happened. He'll be just fine. Maybe he went over to see Ahmet and his wife. Maybe he's trying to convince them to stay together. What are you talking about, Dad? He went to see the guy they're going to sell the restaurant to. He's where? Hey, I told you this couldn't go on like this. You keep being stubborn. You only have yourself to blame. How could he? I thought they'd keep us in there forever, man. Why did they release us like that? Well, I do have some pretty influential friends. You're reaping the benefits for sitting at my table. Thank you. We didn't get a chance to talk about the sale. <laughs> There's no need for that now. We'll have all those IOUs. Don't you worry. We'll be giving you the difference. After the IOUs, huh? What was that? <sighs> you lost a lot of money to me, Mehmet. We'll talk about it when I come by to claim my restaurant. If the police hadn't raided the place... <laughs> I'm in business. I don't work on assumptions. I do what I have to do. You're the one to blame for this, Sali. Now you're gonna see what happens when you mess with me. Sali! Sali! What's the problem? You're the problem! Get the heck out of here! We don't want you here, you damn rat! What was that? Everything that's happened is because of you. Not only did I spend a night in jail, I owe that guy so much money, I'll never be able to pay him back! I'm not the one who made that phone call, but if I were you, I'd try to take something away from all of this, instead of going around blaming everybody else for all of your mistakes. What the heck are you trying to say? I'm not gonna fight with you, Mehmet, but that's just because of your dad. And maybe you need to chill out instead of fighting with me and him and everyone else. Maybe you should take a good long look at yourself. It's not over, Sully. Just wait. A local businessman. Mahir Kasim has died from injuries he sustained in a brutal attack. That's so sad. <sighs> His body was found by a passerby in a vacant lot. Police were contacted after the discovery, and it's believed that he was killed over a large sum of money that he owed. Hmm. What an unbelievably sad story. May God have mercy on all of us. May met. Is it true what I heard? What did you hear, Dad? That you went to talk to someone about selling the restaurant. Look, May met. Just take a look at the news. There are people out there that are murdering each other over money. But our family has so many blessings. Think how fortunate we are. What's huh? burning? Uh -oh. <clears throat> oh man! Ow! <sighs> oh, tell me what just happened. What does it look like? You left the pot on the stove. Uh -oh. No, I didn't. I never put it on there. <sighs> then I guess it just jumped up there by itself. Oh, no. <sighs> Did you leave a pot up here? No, I just got up. <sighs> but I didn't do it. I already boiled my oatmeal earlier. So, your dad's starting to slip. Thank God he didn't burn the whole house down. We'll figure something out. Uh.
I'm going to the restaurant. Are you coming with me? I'll open up today, Dad. Oh, no. It should be me, son. You know, Hussein might just... Could you please give that crap a rest? In 35 years, I've never met anyone named Hussein. Well, someday you will. The restaurant's always been in your name. Who is this guy? He's my friend who entrusted me with his restaurant. That's just something you made up, so you wouldn't have to give up what's ours. Come on, son. I swear by it. It's the honest truth. <sighs> okay now, Dad. Why don't you take the morning off? You can take Brock to the park. Please say yes, Grandpa. I want to go to the park with you. Okay, Barack. I can never say no to you. Let's go to the park. <laughs> These red flowers, aren't they pretty? <laughs> oh, just make sure you don't pick them. I won't, Grandpa. Huh? Oh. 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 Are you all right, ma'am? I don't feel too well. Please help me. Oh, my gosh. Let's get you to a hospital. Is there somebody here with you? Should I try to find your husband or somebody you know? No, there isn't anybody at all. Oh. I've lost my husband. I'm by myself. Oh, let me help. Come with me. We'll get you a taxi. I'll take you to the hospital oh. myself. Uh. Barack! Hello there. It looks like you are someone who likes flowers. Yes, sir. What's your name, my friend? Barack, now you tell me oh. yours. Oh. Wait, Barack! Oh. <laughs> Barack! Oh. Oh. Barack! Oh. Oh. Barack! Oh. Oh. Barack! Oh. Barack, you need to come here right now! <laughs> Barack! Oh. Oh. I need you, Lord. Watch over my grandson, I beg of you. I... Come on, lady. Oh. We have to go. Oh. Grandpa? Grandpa? Hey, where'd your grandfather go? I don't know. He disappeared somewhere. You said he owns a restaurant. You think we should meet him there? You know how to get to my grandpa's restaurant? But of course I do. <sighs> What's up, Barack? Where's Grandpa? Grandpa got lost. What do you mean he got lost? I was playing in the park and then he just disappeared. See what I mean? He left a little kid all by himself. How did you get back here? Hussein found me and he brought me back home. See, now he's got Barack doing it. In addition to leaving him by himself, he's making him crazy too. Let's call Ahmet and his wife. They'll come over. We need to solve this once and for all. <clears throat> Excuse me? Yes, nurse? I take it you're a relative of Hafize? Oh, no, I'm not related to her. I know her very well from my old neighborhood, uh -huh. but I've not uh -huh. seen you before. Well, I found her sick in the park, so I brought her over here. I see. So how is she doing? Not well, I'm afraid. She had the baby and uh -huh. everything's fine with uh -huh. that. But Hafize is in intensive care. She's very weak. Mm. Well, who will take care of her? What will happen to the baby? Uh, she'll stay in the hospital for now. Uh -huh. But I'm not sure what will happen after that. Her husband was just recently killed in a car accident. How oh, sad. God forbid anything happens or the baby will be left alone. As far as I know, she doesn't have any relatives. Well, I hope she gets better soon. Uh, I hope so too. <laughs> well, if anything happens, please get in touch with me here. Here's my card. Okay, thanks. I will. Take care and thank you, nurse. Goodbye. So what should we do? He's just an old man, you know. You can save your undue pity for now. You guys have no idea what it's like dealing with him. He's going to a nursing home. They'll take better care of him there. He's become a nuisance. 
Just this morning, he almost burned the house down. He has a point there. He's gonna hurt himself. Either that or he's gonna hurt somebody else. Ah. He found his way back here. Thank the Lord. Oh. Where have you been, Dad? You were responsible for Barack. How could you leave him all by himself? Something unexpected happened to me. This poor woman went into labor right there in the park. She was there all by herself. So I took her to the hospital. I'm sure he's making it up. Are you serious? Of course I am. I think we need to have a little talk, Dad. You almost burned the house down. Why do you keep thinking I'm the one who left the pot on the stove? Will you stop it, Dad? It's time to sell this place. That's not your decision to make. Because I've been running this restaurant all these years intending to hand it back over to Hussein. I have to go now, but I'll be back soon. You better think about what I said, Dad. Uh, listen, Haroon, sir. Uh, I... I can't sell the place even if I wanted to. If that's the case, why'd you even come to me, Mehmet? Huh? What were you expecting when you signed those IOUs? So is the place in your brother's name? Oh, no. It's in my dad's. Uh, it's really easy. A doctor will report on your dad, and that'll be that. Uh, wait a minute. What report? <laughs> a report saying he's not mentally fit to take care of his affairs, and that you'll be in charge of decisions about his estate. Okay, but I don't think they'll file that report. Despite what I say, he's not that bad off. <laughs> That's a really easy one, too. I have some doctor and lawyer friends, and that'll be that. Uh, okay, but could we cut the IOU in half? You're gonna pay what you owe me, Mehmet. I'm not running a charity here. Now get out of here and bring me the money. Good morning, Salih, my friend. How are you today, my friend? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Hold on a sec, Dad. Uh, huh? Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mehmet. You're early today. I bet you realized that what you did was wrong, right, son? Hey, Dad, don't open up today. Oh, why on earth shouldn't I? It'll be okay, Dad. We're going to the doctor. Huh? Why to the doctor? <sighs> but your dad doesn't need a doctor. You stay out of this, Salib. What we do is none of your business, understand? Yes, yes, it's fine. I'll go to the doctor. You know you don't have to do this. Just stay out of it. Come on, Dad, let's go. Here, Sally. Can you open my restaurant? My employee will be here soon. He'll help you out. I trust you. What if Hussein comes by? Give him my best. And give him what's rightfully his. Come on, Dad. Come on. You can calm down, Dad. It's just a routine checkup. In that case, why didn't we go see my regular doctor? He knows me better than anyone. Oh, stop it. Don't cause me problems. This doctor's supposed to be better. <sighs> Please come right in, sir. Arun called me this morning. He's a very good friend of mine. Uh -huh. He explained your situation to me. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to help you with this. I'll get the report ready right now. Thanks. Here you are, sir. Thanks. No. So, Dad really went to the doctor? He did. Look, didn't I tell you to leave it to me? So what do we do now? We're the trustees of his estate. How is that? Easy. We just get a court order. All right, then. We'll finally be able to sell the restaurant and get paid, right? Yeah, that's right. Of course. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Listen, Sally. Have you ever heard of anything more ridiculous than fighting over something that's not even yours? My sons don't seem to understand. Hussein has more of a right to this restaurant than either one of my sons do. Now, my friend, why don't you finally tell me who Hussein is? 
Hussein is someone who came to my rescue at a very difficult time in my life many, many years ago. It was over 40 years ago, Sali. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't have any money I can give you now. <sighs> my Lord, Almighty One, hear my prayer. Please feed the helpless and the hopeless. Please help me, O oh Lord, so I may help others who are in need. At that time, Hussein was sitting right beside me. He turned to me and asked me a question. Did I overhear you need a job, brother? Yes. I need one very badly. I need one for myself so I can help all the others in need. He helped me out after that by aiding me in acquiring the deed to this establishment, and it became a cafe. All of this was Hussein's doing. Salih, I have a little favor to ask of you. Of course, my friend. Go ahead. But I need a promise from you. You have to do what I say. There's no way I could trust anyone else to do what I'm going to ask you to do. No matter what happens, even if I'm not here for it myself, don't let them sell the restaurant or do anything else for that matter, understand? You promise? Promise. <laughs> you made it. Ah, you made it. Yeah. Come on, let's go take care of this thing now. When we show them this report, they're going to give us the title to the restaurant? Yes, of course. We're going to be Dad's official trustee, so in other words, what we say goes. This is the law, Matt. The report is all on our side. Come on. According to the expert's medical report, the mental health of the patient in question is unstable and unfit to run his business. Thank you. Hussein gives his regards. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. Give Hussein my regards as well. Please tell him to come visit his cafe. I will. Thank you again, my friend. Oh, that's just great, Dad. Just say hi and get a free meal, huh? Dad, look. This here is a court order. We are in charge of your estate from now on. It says here that you are not mentally fit to make business decisions. But I'm fine, my boy. You're making a big mistake, my friend. You stay out of this. I talked with the nursing home today. You're going to live there now. They'll be able to take better care of you. They've actually come to take you there. They're waiting outside. What about the restaurant? Truth is, they're going to turn this place into a strip mall. Sally, for God's sakes, don't forget the promise that you made to me. I won't forget about it, sir. Grandpa! Grandpa, oh. where are they taking you to? Barak, my boy. Grandpa is going to go away. From now on, I'm going to live somewhere else. But your mother is going to bring you to see me very often. You'll bring him to see me, won't you? Don't worry, Dad. I promise I'll bring him to visit. We need to go, little guy. Grandpa! Excuse us. Grandpa, please don't leave me. Sweetheart, my boy. Please don't, please don't leave me, Grandpa. Please don't cry. I'm coming back, I promise. Really. Grandpa, no! Bye. Don't I'll leave miss me. you, Barack. Don't leave me, Bye. Ah. 
We had no problems before, but the new owner could give us a hard time. <laughs> Let him try. I'll take care of him. No one can stop us from getting what we want, pal. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Hello there, guys. Have a seat. We didn't come here to eat. Are you the owner of this place? I am. You're gonna sell this place to me. What do you mean? Maybe you should open up your ears and listen up. You're gonna sell this place to me right now. And that's just the way it is. I'm buying the place next door and I'm building a shopping center. I'll give you good money for it. I just opened this place and I don't intend to sell it to anyone. <laughs> I don't think you understand me. I didn't ask if you wanted to sell it or not. I said that you will. I'm not selling. <laughs> One way or another, pal, I'm gonna be getting this place. <laughs> you didn't have to take off work. I have it covered. <laughs> well, sure. Weren't you the one who said I can't trust anyone? <sighs> Good day, gentlemen. Okay. Let's finish this up. Yeah, let's go. Thanks. There you go, guys. Isn't Ibrahim here? No, he's not here today. We're closed. Go the freeload somewhere me. else. Get out! Uh, Get out! Oh, that's unbelievable. Our dad has everyone else believing in his nonsense, too. Uh, first things first. Mehmet here owes me some steep gambling debts. That will deduct from the price. What gambling debts? Oh Lord, I beg of you to hear my prayer now. Oh, Lord, I beg of you to hear my prayer now. I ask you to always make me one of the people who gives thanks. Don't deprive me of this simple pleasure in this world. Guide my children back to the true path where you alone can save us. No one but you can truly help us. The people of this world truly need your guidance. Mm. How can you do this to me, man? How? I made a mistake, okay? What do you mean a mistake? What kind of crap are you trying to pull on me? Now listen, Ahmed, he tricked me with this. Aw oh, man, really? Come on. What about me? Why did you tell me? I was going to, but I didn't have a chance. This is not my problem, Mehmet. We're gonna sell this place to someone else, and I don't care what you do with your gambling debts. Tell that to your friend Haroon. It's been five months since my daughter and son came to visit me. Every day I think they might visit, but I'm just all alone. You're luckier than I am. You at least saw your children in five months. It's been over three years since I've seen my grandkids. <sighs> the only thing I wanted to do was to spend my last day surrounded by family. But it's not meant to be. As I got older, they all just abandoned me. As long as God doesn't abandon us, the rest is not important. Come on, Ibrahim, we're going to dinner. Don't be late. I'll be there in a minute, guys. <laughs> hello there, my friend. Ah, uh, oh, well, hello, Sali. <laughs> I hope my boys aren't giving you too much of a hard time. Even if they are, show patience with them. That's what I'm doing, and you should do the same. Hussein will be coming soon anyway. Please don't let them sell it. He's coming back to reclaim what rightfully belongs to him, really. Mm -hmm. All right, I hope you've changed your mind. 
I'm not gonna change my mind. I'm not selling. <laughs> Look here, friend. If you give me a hard time, you're gonna really regret it. I've almost closed the deal next door. Now listen. Be a good boy and sign those papers, and nothing will happen to you. Hmm. Maybe I haven't made it clear. I'm never selling to you. <laughs> uh, okay. Since you're having trouble making up your mind, we'll have to help you out a bit. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll be begging to sell to me. <laughs> Did you tell Harun that we're not selling him the restaurant? I didn't tell him on that. I couldn't. I have another legitimate buyer now, so you better go ahead and tell him about it. What are you saying, man? They're gonna kill me! What's going on? Okay, enough. He looks ready to talk. All right. I won't be this genial next time, pal. I'm giving you one last chance to think it over and make the right decision this time. Do you understand me, my friend? You didn't see anything here, now did you? Are we clear? If you turn a blind eye to this, one day the same thing will happen to you. The time I gave you two has come to an end. So now, time to transfer the restaurant to me. I've had enough of you. I'm not selling to you, you got that? I'll pay my debt to you soon, once I get the money from another legitimate buyer. <laughs> oh really? You're a fast learner. You're trying to put the squeeze on me, huh? But if I was you, I wouldn't make me your enemy. Really, you don't want that. A guy like you can't tango with me. Come on, get up. How's it going? Not too bad. Where's Barack? I don't know. He was waiting for you outside. He's not there. Now that's strange. You think he maybe went upstairs? Hello? I told you you couldn't tango with me, man. I have your son. Tomorrow morning you're selling the restaurant to me, and then you can have your kid back. Understand? Answer me, man. Oh, okay. How can he do something like this to you? We have to sell him the restaurant now, Ahmed. I can't risk my son's life here. Well, what if we go to the police? We can't do that. They might harm Barack. I know what's going on. Listen, this guy's very dangerous. He could hurt the child. I've got an idea of how we can save Barack. Don't let on I told you. He's waiting inside there now. Oh God, what did we get ourselves into? If we had just gone ahead and listened to Dad, none of this would have happened to us. Well, it's too late now. <sighs> Ah, welcome guys. I was just waiting for you. <laughs> well, I let myself in. I hope you don't mind. I wouldn't want to offend you, gentlemen. You could say that it's my restaurant anyway, huh? Where's my son? First we make the sale, then the kid. You see, kid later, after we make the sale, huh? <laughs> oh, look. There's a contract right here. All you have to do is just sign it. <sighs> mm. 
You don't need to read it. Just sign it. Don't forget, I'm holding your son. Ah, look, he's gone. Now sign it. Hello. My name is Hussein. Is Ibrahim around? Dad wasn't making it up. There really is a person named Hussein. Hmm. Just sign it already. Why are you being forced to do what he says? Because I have something they love, all right, old man? I'm certain that you don't have the strength to keep what they love, sir. What are you trying to get at? If you don't believe me, just go call your people. Hello, Hilmi? Uh, Harun, we don't have the kid anymore. What do you mean you don't have the kid? You couldn't keep hold of one child? How's that even possible, you damned idiot? Harun Yaver, you are under arrest. Huh? You're being charged with murder and for the kidnapping of a minor. Oh. Take him away. Oh. Let go of me. Let go of me. Your father is an old friend of mine. You boys wouldn't remember me. You were both very small then. I heard Ibrahim make a very nice prayer once. And God brought the two of us together to help one another out. You know, we opened this restaurant together 40 years ago. His dream was to help people in need and to see you do the same. Good evening. If you can spare it, can I please have something to eat? I pray to God you'll help. My son is sick at home. Thank you. Here. I hope he feels better. What have we done, Ahmed? We treated our dad so badly all these years. Let's go first thing in the morning and bring him home. I hope he forgives us. We need to apologize to him. Hey, Dad. We made a very big mistake. <laughs> Please forgive us. Son, I already have. My son. Thanks, Dad. Welcome home, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> Look, Dad, I beg your forgiveness. Oh. I was very selfish. I didn't appreciate you and how hard you've been working to keep this place running for all these years. I knew you'd understand one day, my boy. <laughs> ah. Dad. <sighs> I was looking for Ibrahim. Ah, hello, young lady. Aren't you the nurse from the hospital? My God, is something wrong? I'm sorry to say that Hafize passed away. She did? There's no one to take in the baby now. Oh. I can't take it in, and I feel oh. bad seeing the poor thing in an orphanage. I thought you might be able to help. Hmm. We would love to take the baby in. Right, Ahmed? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Uh -huh. Thank you, sir. There you go. Would you like one? That's a good one. Oh, you're so sweet. Prayer is so important. That's right. In this world, Sally, if it wasn't for your heartfelt prayers, what value would you have? 
So the ones who care will see care in return? Of course. The ones that show mercy will not ever be forgotten by the Almighty Lord. Uncle Ammon, I finished everything. Are you full now, Thanks, big guy? Baby. I ain't yeah, too good much. Job.